we were in the middle of a competition in March, and they got on the loudspeaker and said, everything's done, everything's shut down, the NCAA's postponed everything, and we went home. And from there, we've been sitting at home until early August. We are grateful to be in our pool. We are happy to be here together, uh, laughing together, working together, working things out together. That's a wonderful thing. I mean, just this ability to come and train and keep life somewhat normal has been exciting. It's been really engaging with the athletes to give them something to do each day and, and to have some familiarity with a schedule or a routine. And so it's, uh, it's been really nice getting back in the pool. Well, it, it's, a, it's an interesting fall because we don't have anything that uh, puts a lot of pressure on us at the midseason. What we do have is the opportunity to get better without a lot of pressure, and that really does open some doors. Everybody has their own individual goals, but we're getting more time to work on these little things that maybe we had surpassed or moved on from before earlier in the season, and now we get a chance to work on them. Because if people don't feel like they have to get better, they have to make these changes uh, for, for a immediate response, they could give themselves more time to make the changes. Tomorrow isn't the day of reckoning, right? We have a long time to make the changes that we're working on. The challenge is to keep our focus on what is really important, and that's getting better every day getting better. And it's not just getting better in the pool, it's not just getting better in the classroom, it's not just getting better in how we treat each other, but it's all of the above. And we get to teach that right here in the pool.